What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Vivid Pick Show, brought to you by Roto Grinders. If you haven't checked out Vivid Picks already, just making bad life choices, going over Vivid Picks and download the app. Get signed up. Use the promo code Grinders and get a hundred percent deposit bonus up to two hundred dollars. It's free money. All you got to do is play through it, and it's yours. And that's it. I'm going to be giving you these picks each and every Friday. Get you some basketball. Get you some NFL. We got a decent amount of them, so we're just going to get right into this. Starting off with bat, some basketball. I really like several bets here in this Boston game. So there's a lot of different possibilities here. So first of all, I like the Tatum over points, over rebounds, over points, rebounds, assists. It does not matter. You can take any single one of them. They're all great. I personally like the points probably the best, although it's pretty close between points and between rebounds. I'm probably going to go with rebounds just because I'm most – Sports betting sites, it's sitting at minus 125, minus 130, minus 135 on the over. So I'm going to roll with that. Um, Horford, I really like the unders on Horford. I'm going to go with his under points, rebounds, assists, because sitting at minus 125, minus 130, minus 135 on most sports books. So we're going to roll with the under on that. And then they have Levine at 22.5. Most sports books have him at 21.5. I don't care. I am taking the over here. I think that he easily hits the over. He's been averaging right around this number this season, and this is a tough matchup, but he's been shooting drastically worse so far this season than he has in prior seasons. So he should end up getting the over. If this game stays close, should be an easy over. I'm not going to be surprised if we see Horford not get some run later on in the game. So, again, going with that nice little 5X your buy-in. I mean, to put in $10, you get 50 back. Boom. That's for, that's money. That's money because this is going to win. I really like all these. Again, I've taken them for large amounts of money on sports betting sites. Um, yep. Let's go. Let's see if there's any other great spots here. I'm thinking, yeah, we can go with this. So I'm taking some unders here. I'm hoping for a blowout here. The two main unders I want are Markinen under eight rebounds and LeBron under seven and a half assists. I have both these currently bet. So it's really simple. Markinen has been playing a little bit over his head recently. He's been a beast on the boards, averaging close to 10, but this is a spot with enough height where I think that you go with the under and LeBron James under seven and a half assists, sitting at minus 115, minus 120 at most sites. I really like the under. I bet the under. So we can go with both of those. You can take those two and get a nice little 2.5 extra payout, or you can go with any of these other ones. Looking through my bets right now, seeing if I saw anything. So I don't hate the under on Conley points, assists, rebounds. If you want to go with this, you can go with the under on Olenek. Again, first two are the main ones I want, but we're just going unders all around here, hoping for a blowout, hoping for a potential weird game. I like the those first two ones easily, those first props, easy unders. The, re, the other two kind of correlating here. So hoping for a blowout. Boom. Let's look over at some football. Let's see if they have my favorite prop on the board here. Um, let's see. They doesn't look like they have the Rams game out that yet. Love. Love Tom Brady under um, under his uh, uh, rushing yards, 0.5 rushing yards. So easiest bet here. Easiest part, prop on the board is DeAndre Hopkins over 82.5 receiving yards. He's averaging 131 in his two games back, getting 11 receptions per game. Matchup versus the Seahawks is one of the best you can possibly get. This, is, I think, is going to be a high-scoring game. So I'm rolling with the over on that. I'm rolling with the over on Metcalf. I already took that. I'm over, rolling with the over on Fant receiving yards. There's a decent chance that Lockett may miss, Goodwin may miss. Who knows? The Seahawks receiving core is beat up right now, but the Metcalf number is far too low right now. Far too low. He's going to do a ton of this game. This is going to be a super high-paced game. Should be a lot of scoring. I know that the Cardinals didn't do great in the first matchup, but this one's being played over in Arizona in the Dome. That means that the conditions are going to be perfect. So easy over on Fant, who crushed this team last time, getting 45 yards and seven receptions. Easy over on Metcalf, 67.5 yards. And again, DeAndre Hopkins, most sites have this at minus 130, minus 140 on the over. It's just an absolutely silly line. I don't understand it. If you want to co correlate it even more, you can take the over on passing yards for Geno Smith. I don't mind that since it correlates nicely. So we take over, 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 and boom, look at that. Is that not absolutely beautiful? Again, all positive EB parlays, all very nicely correlated, all going towards a shootout. Could this game not be a shootout? Yes, absolutely. Could things happen? This is sports. This is what happens here. 
but I am rolling with it. Let's look at one more. Let's see what we got here. Lions Packers, no. Bengals, no. Bears and Dolphins. Let's see if they have some of my favorite props in here. Let's go ahead and look at Tyreek Hill on a consistent basis. is absolutely shredded every single defense, every single week. He's averaging, I think, over 100 receiving yards a game, just getting peppered with targets constantly. This Bears defense sending out all their defensive players. Going to be one of the worst, if not the worst, in the entire league. It's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. So I'm taking the over on Tyreek Hill. I'm taking the under on Mooney receptions here. I currently have it um, as at 2.9. I took the under on it while the juice is only slightly on the underside in most sites. I think three and a half is just a bit too high. And then we're going to take the over on Fields rushing yards. Again, they're designing runs. They're kind of treating him like Baltimore treats uh, Lamar. They're getting design runs from now. He could easily end up with 100 rushing yards in any given day game. The fact that this game is sitting around a 5.5 spread is the last time I saw it. There's a decent chance that Chicago is trailing, meaning they're going to keep rushing the ball with field, setting up those design runs. This is an easy over. So we got the un- – and also the rushing yards kind of correlates with Mooney here. Plus the addition of Claypool is probably going to take away from Mooney's target share. So we're taking over, under, over, and boom, that's it. Give you three nice little parlays there. Get in the action. Again, use the promo code GRINDERS. Get signed up. 100% deposit bonus up to $200, free money. And if you don't know about Vivid Picks, again, just go to the App Store, download it. They got NFL. They got baseball. They got NBA. They got college football. They got NHL. They got Counter-Strike Go, golf, NASCAR, LOL, F1. They got everything. So go get signed up. Absolutely fantastic prop site out there. Get in there. We're out of here. Player kids!